welcome to 2020. My first big walk of the year is on Exmoor, where I am today. I parked my car in Horner, just north of here, and I'm gradually heading towards Dunkery Beacon, the highest point in all Somerset. So, I've done this route twice before, more or less. It's between 13 and 14 miles long, and the main reason I'm here today and not elsewhere is that I'm trying to go through a process of grieving. Grieving for the loss of someone who has been close to me for the last two and a half years. She's made a choice to go her own way, and yeah, I'm trying to accept that and deal with the pain I'm feeling and process it and all that kind of thing. We both came here about a year ago in February. Um, it was her first walk on Exmoor, and we had a really good day, a really good day. And the whole, that year has started so well, we do regular walks together, regular meals out and dates and things, and suddenly it stopped. It started again a few months later, and it stopped again, and I've not seen her since. And yeah, she's made her choice based on her own, her own um, feelings and fears. I've been quite heartbroken, to be honest. I have my own issues, of course, like with mental health and things, but um, I put lots of hope and things towards this happening and working out. And now that's gone, I've been feeling quite, quite bad. I've had some very dark thoughts in the last month or so. I'm currently on medication for antidepressants, and um, yeah, just trying to get through everything and just. I've got a plan now going forward with my own life. I'm going to let the medication take its course and have an effect on me to get me thinking straight. And that could take a few months, to be honest. When I'm at that stage, I'm going to start counselling again. Because if I go into counselling now, I'm going to be very open to suggestion and not really thinking to, not really thinking very clearly. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to revisit this walk and some of the emotions came with it. Maybe I can feel something and grieve some more. But ironically, being on these tablets, I can't feel very much. I'm very flat. I feel like I've been switched off a bit. But it's good in some ways so I can't feel as dark as I have been. But I'm also lacking, lacking um, a kind of joy and a good feeling in my life. So. It's the beginning of a very long journey, I think. I've just had some food in the woods back there. I've now got two miles left to reach Dunkley Beacon on this path. And um, I want to say earlier that even though Things have happened and not happened between us. I've got no hard feelings towards the other person. It's just the way it goes. I've got to try and accept it and move on. I wish her well, of course. The hard thing also is that I moved home last year to within a five minute walk of her doorstep. So we kind of, it's really hard to get away from it sometimes, but it seems like he will cross paths again one day, but I just don't want to be any sort of hard feelings.
you've just seen the monument there on Dunkley Beacon, 500 odd metres above sea level. Recently restored by the National Trust volunteers before Christmas. I'll go two miles west of Dunkley Beacon. I'm going to have some lunch about here somewhere, and um, I'm feeling okay about things. You know, I'm feeling, I'm not feeling upset, and I feel like the spirit of last year's walk is still with me, which is quite a good thing. I'm not miserable over it, the loss and everything. It's just I have many good memories of that day. I haven't done too much filming since lunch, but I'm heading now towards uh, Luckock Farm and then my final descent into Horner, which won't be far away. Just heading around Lay Hill and from there's a descent into Horner for the end of the walk. So thanks for watching this one. I will try and be more positive in the next video, I promise. And happy new year to you all and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>